Hi, welcome. Uh, I'm here this week with Kat, and we are going to do a little demonstration of a philosophical problem. We thought it'd be fun. Kat thought it was a fun problem. It's what's called the trolley problem. Uh, and so this is a Lego train, and this is my kids. Long story short, but like we got it, my kids saved up a bunch of change, then they were stealing change from me. Uh, but and we eventually cashed in. I said, "Yeah, enough money, we'll buy the Lego train." And they, we did have enough. Uh, with that and some birthday money and we got the train so we've had this for like six or seven years and i thought this would be fun to put into the trolley problem and the trolley problem also the other thing that i was telling cat about was that i've been watching my other three-year-old and he has been falling in love with these youtube videos where people play with toys and i told my wife i said i want to make videos where i play with toys because i said i look at the view numbers and they feel happy making some serious money right and so now I get to do it, but with philosophy. And so it may work out for me. If this works out, it'll go great. But one of the things I was telling her is that like a lot, some of them, they like to click it and you've got black nails. So, you know, they would do a lot of that. The and ASMR. so we need to do that a little bit, but we won't. <laughs> All right. So this is it. So go ahead and drive the truck. This is a remote control. Kat is going to be driving it. I don't want it to run off. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't crash. So we got this train, runs around, really exciting. Yeah. But the trolley problem is basically, it comes with this philosopher named Philip Afoot. And Philip Afoot, uh, she came up with this problem of suggesting it's kind of a utilitarian idea, which is, and let me walk around here and I'll set it up. Uh, what it is, is you take these people here. And the idea is that one of them is here on the track. And you happen to be driving or standing here and you're not close enough to get anybody they're somehow tied to the track they're somehow stuck on the track and they're all stuck on there and the idea is is that actually it should be the other way um the idea is that if you do nothing the train is going to go right down that track and kill all three of those people but there's a little switch here and you happen to be right here you can pull the switch can they see me pulling the switch i don't think so so there's a little switch here. Let me just turn it over. Actually, we talked about how we take this off. Let's yeah. just do that real quick. Okay. So you can come up here and you can flip this switch and it will flip the way the track goes and it will either come down and kill those three people if you do nothing, or you can send it down this track and kill just the one person. He's wearing a helmet, which may help him in the long run. Okay, so the idea there being you can do, you can either drive it and do nothing and you're going to kill three people or you can take an action and kill one person. The one person is going to live if you don't do anything, but the other three people will live if you do something. And so the idea for utilitarian is, is you need to take action to save as many lives as you can. And so it's better to kill one person who would have otherwise lived. And some people say, no, you shouldn't. And so the problem is, what do you do? So what do you would you do, Kat? It's difficult because you have to take action uh, for one way. It makes you feel kind of responsible for mm -hmm. it. But the I feel like the most logical reasoning would be you have to save as many lives. Of course, the other side of the coin is you would feel responsible if you did nothing and three people dying That's too. So I, I don't know that you would stop feeling responsible okay. one way or the other. Yeah. So okay. given given that, I would. Try to save the three people. All right, let me go flip the switch and then you can kill this person. Okay. <laughs> should, I, should I get any close on this? Yeah, give them a close up. All right, we'll give them the close up. <laughs> and he died. There we go. Whoa, we're going to derail. <laughs> we're having a little too much fun with this anyway so that's the trolley problem and we're going to come back next week with a little bit of a different version in which we talk about a car and what that the implication is from that and do we have anything else that's it for this one all right you're going to do tutoring as always and uh we'll reach out and uh have a good week yep. we're here on the point of yeah